child of god you are loved in the month of march the demonstration of love is emphasized in this teaching and in the exhortation of the word at this time you want to take some notes and write this down a man without love is a man without god a godless man is a hopeless man is a coward man is a fearful man is a wicked man is a dangerous man let's administrate love not as the world knows it i'm going to teach you from the scriptures we're going to read just about five short scripture readings grab your pen and your notepad you want to take notes i'm going to open some revelation for you about the administration and dis dispensation of pure origin original love which can only come from god now the spirit of god is administrated into the human being when they receive salvation amen beloved that's what happened in the book of acts when they were sitting in the upper room waiting for god to send down the fire of his holy ghost where the holy spirit came as tongues and of fire as do as pictures of tongues of fire and rested on them and entered inside of them and so this love that i'm going to speak about is able and unable to enter inside of you by his spirit and change the course of time in your life change you entirely and change everything around you wow love strength and courage is our emphasis at this time we want to read from psalms chapters 59 verse 16 but as for me i shall sing of your strength yes i shall joyfully sing of your loving kindness in the morning for you have been my stronghold these are some very strong words are being used here referring to the loving kindness of god wow and my refuge in the day of my distress for you have been my stronghold and my refuge refuge means as to a place of shelter to come under to hide under when i'm in distress because of your loving kindness because of your love that i know understand see and feel and experience i can come under your refuge your shelter and your covering when i'm in distress in this world also you want to understand that strength the writer is saying for he said but as for me i shall sing of your strength how do i get your strength how do you get the strength of god and he goes on to say yes i shall joyfully sing of your loving kindness you want to take notes write this down love is strength the joy of the lord is my strength that's what we say that's a script here also the joy of the lord is my strength love establishes my next and every morning that's what the writer said here of your loving kindness in the morning how do we know that he has another morning how do you know that you are going to get tomorrow morning how do we know that you are going to continue to get every morning the loving kindness of god almighty has already established bestowed upon you and bless you with that next morning to sing of his strength and loving kindness i will see the dawning of a new day love will afford you and allow you to see will afford it to you to see the dawning of a new day your life will not be snuffed out before you you will not be tricked of your life you will not be suicidal you will not want to take your life this love is your strength love is a stronghold 
we understand that both strong will could also be used for for it's normally used and described as something pertaining to bad something that is holding you down that should not be holding you down a bad habit a bad spirit whatever the case may be here it is we see where love is being described as your stronghold when you get a stronghold and a strong grip of love of the character and persona of jesus christ who is in you by his spirit but you have to come into the revelation knowledge and fullness of this stronghold of love in its fullness and wholesomeness and this is what will cause you to be a wholesome healthy person and not destroy things around you and people around you wow love is a stronghold that does me life you're taking notes now you want to write this down love shelters me in my distress that's your refuge let's look at the script here wow I love you, O Lord, and this, uh, this is a very short verse coming from Psalm chapters 18 and verse 1. I love you, O Lord, my strength. Wow. So here's, here is the situation where you are seeing a demonstration. After you understand what love is, or should I say, who love is, you are then, in return, able to respond, to reply and give back this love in exchange it's an equal i love you O lord my strength the love of god strengthens you you want to write this down i am strengthened by love by god himself by the demonstration of jesus christ by his character by his persona i am strengthened by love i respond to this love love you back and so I'm able to love you back wow love teaches me to love him back and also to love myself pure and true original love that comes from God the Father God Almighty demonstration demonstrated in the flesh of his son Jesus Christ in the earth for you to walk in that example amen beloved amen beloved let's look at our third scripture reading and that is taken from the book of song of songs which is a favorite for me wow let's look at this look it is solomon's courage escorted by 60 warriors the noblest of israel all of them wearing the sword, all experienced in battle, all experienced in battle, each with his sword at his side, prepared for war, ready to protect, ready to serve. Wow, prepared for the terrors of the night. King Solomon, remember the scripture said in Psalm 91, um, the pestilences that stalks at midday and in the night time. So love, the power of love, the soundness of love, the demonstration of God the Father through his Son, Jesus Christ, is able to draw a sword when you are being terrorized by pestilences in the darkness, evil spirits, attacks of Satan. Follow, you see, follow these teachings strongly and you will understand the revelation of the demonstration of love. Wow. Wow. All experience in battle, each with his sword at his side, prepared for the terrors of the night. I love that. Verse 9. King Solomon made for himself the courage. He made it of wood from Lebanon. Its pose he made of silver, its base of gold. Wow. Its seat was of polystered with purple. Its interior inlaid with love. Stop right here. You want to write this down. Love has an army girded with drawn swords. For you, for me, strong to protect me, to protect you. Now Solomon, we can look at this scripture, this love uh, chapter in the Bible between man and woman. We can consider this love demonstration threefold. The Father to you, Father God Almighty to you, Jesus the Groom, to his church you and i the bride and then man to woman 
amen that person that god has designed and designated for you look at this love love has an army good it with drawn swords strong to protect you my love is experienced in the battlefield it said here that the, the noblest of soldiers that were standing with love with solomon represented was experienced in battle wow king solomon represented here your heavenly father jesus the groom to the church's bride and your lover the person that god has designated for you the person god has designated for you to be with love will take its time to design interior to your life i love that i love that message love coming from the hundred of god will take its time to design the interior of your life for your life building you over the years trying you testing you weaning you molding you making you to good strong the way you are right now the person i am today the ordinance as you see me i was not this way 20 years ago love took its time and built for me an interior carriage made of silver and gold he's doing that work in you he's also doing giving you that work of himself to have and to hold wow let's look at our next verse that will be the fourth verse have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not tremble or be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go just was book of joshua chapters 1 and verse 9 you want to write this down love is with you wherever you go the scripture never said here in book of joshua wherever he sends you wherever the lord leads you this is powerful now it says love is with you wherever you go wow do not tremble or be dismayed for the lord your god is with you for love is with you wherever you go I love this. This stands as something very powerful in example for all of us. And we want to close with this verse, a short verse. For God has not given us a spirit, his Holy Spirit, of timidity. No, his spirit, the spirit of love, is all fully rounded and girded in full power, full capacity of love, not lacking, missing or broke, broken in any way. God has not given us a spirit of timidity, which is like fear and small and frail, but of power, of love. And this love and power brings about discipline. What does that mean? Well, it trains you to walk a certain way, talk a certain way, and live a certain way. Wow. Beloved, be blessed. Until we meet again, share this message with someone. Bye.